it is not that there is the no self state and the ego state. There is a continuum between these two. So sometimes you feel more empty of self or ego and sometimes you feel more full of ego. It is a continuum. So this method that I will explain will help you to move towards the no self in the continuum. And the result of that, of course, is happiness, happier. Life becomes lighter, easier, more blissful, less painful. Because you are moving towards the no self state. So how it works? Well, it's pretty simple. If you were to put a name to this technique, you you can, could call it noticing and remembering. Noticing and remembering. So what is that that you notice? You notice what's going on, what's going on especially in your feelings. It could also be in your thoughts, in action, whatever is happening in the present moment, you notice it and you name it. So, for example, there is frustration, there is frustration, there is fear, there is anxiety, there is pride, there is a strong sense of self now. I'm going to explain this in more detail in a moment, this sense of self. There is bliss now, there is open awareness now. There is narrow focus awareness now. There is tension in the body. There is contraction. There is a stress. Whatever is going on, without judgment, you just state it in your mind. Oh, there is this. Okay. That is what is, right? So that's the first part. You just notice and state mentally what is going on. The next one is you remember. What do you remember? You remember the truth. You remember what awakening teaches us. Awakening teaches us, shows us that there is no self that there is no one here. So, you may say, well, but if there is frustration, there is likely a self, ego, right? I, I-ness. Yes, most likely. But the truth is that there is no I. There could be a sense of I, the sensation that I, I am here, I here, but that doesn't mean that it's true, it's just a sensation or a feeling. So you state the truth. The truth is, but there is no one here. So you notice what's going on, you state it mentally, you don't need to <laughs> tell everybody around, oh, there is frustration here, no, no, it's just notice it and state it to yourself, in your thoughts. Hmm. There is frustration, but there is no one here.
You notice what's going on? You remember the truth. You notice what's going on? You remember the truth. And how long you do the exercise, you can go on doing it the whole day. That's exactly what we want, right? That it will become second nature. Of course, to become such a habit may take a long time. So what can you do to create this habit of practicing this very simple thing, but profound? <laughs> It has a, a tremendous impact in your life. So what do you do in order to turn it into a habit? You start the day with this. Meaning even before you sit down on your bed, when you're still laying down but awake already, you begin to do this exercise what's going on here and then but there is no one here maybe there is not much going on if there is no, not much going on you just remember oh there is no one here no one here this is the truth you remember the truth you sit down and if you want to meditate if you have the habit of meditating you can meditate in this way you just Sit, sit and notice what's going on, no conflict with it, okay, no fighting back, you just notice it and you remember the truth, but there is no one here and you relax into that truth, who cares if it's going on some frustration there or whatever. It's irrelevant. The truth is what is relevant. Now, I'm not saying with this that you should ignore all your feelings, you know, and uh, in fact, if you're having a feeling that becomes disturbing or a thought that becomes disturbing or a habit, um, I recommend that you practice the surrendering technique that I have explained in other videos. But for this exercise you are sitting down there and you don't practice the surrendering technique in meditation. You, you just notice what's going on and then you remember the truth and you wait until something else comes, a new thought or a new sensation or a new feeling and then you do the same and you keep relaxing into this. Start the day with the truth. Start the day with the truth. Start the day affirming the truth. Start the day dwelling in the truth. Instead of starting the day affirming the I. affirming the I thought. Ramana Maharshi said, what will be your last thought? Will it be about I, me, mine? Christ is in the cross and he said, the work is done. Why he didn't say, I finished the job? my work is done because he didn't want to state again reinstate the I thought before transitioning so he used the passive voice the work is done how we think and how we f how we talk has an impact on the increasing the solution of the I or decreasing it it has a tremendous impact. Even if you have attained an awakening and you already know that the I is not true and it's unreal, doesn't mean that the sense of I will disappear. It may disappear for a while, perhaps, if you had a very powerful awakening, but it will come back. 
And then you have to deal with this sensation of I, this sense of I-ness. Because the I has two aspects. One is cognitive, which is all our thoughts we have about I and me and mine and so on. And that's the cognitive side only, but there is a feeling aspect to this I-ness, which is feeling the sensation of I here, I here. You can get in contact with that sensation and it's a good it's a good thing to do it, to get in contact with it, so that you recognize that feeling of I here. Try it out. Just sit down and tell yourself a few times, I here, I am here, I here, and see what is the feeling? Notice what is the feeling in the mind-body organism. And that's the sense of I. That is a feeling of I-ness. It's not just a cognitive aspect of the little self. So remember, very simple. You just notice what's going on and then you remember the truth. Notice and remembering. Notice what's going on. And of course, no conflict with that. Acceptance. It is what it is. It's irrelevant. And then, remembering the truth. But there is no one here. You can also use the wording, there is no one here anyway. There is no one here regardless. Yes, there is frustration, anger, resentment, pride, whatever. But there is no I anyway. There is no one here anyway. That's the truth. <clears throat> and if you follow the pointer, you will feel more empty. So enjoy, practice, empty yourself as much as you can and the more you empty yourself, the happier you will be, that's for sure.